Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to look at mutations. Uh, return true if the string in the first element of the array contains all the letters of the string in the second element of the array. For example, hello and hello should return true because all the letters in the second string are present in the first, ignoring case. The arguments hello and hey should return false because the string hello does not contain a Y. Lastly, alien should return true because all of the letters in line are present in alien, L-I-N-E. Okay, so we want to re do uh, read, search, ask if you get stuck. So hello and hey should return false. Okay, so I think the way that we could do this is that we could just go through the second element of the array. So array at position one. Um, this is equal to the, let's call that the second element, right? And then we say second, okay, so for, uh, let's let i equal zero. i is less than second element dot length i plus equals one. Um, so now we've got the second element. The second element is equal to hey here, right? And so we're going through each one. And so we should say, um, is the second element. We're going through each letter. So the um, second element at position i is equal to letters. And so we say, if the letter index of the first element, which is array at position 0, is equal to negative 1, we return false. And if that never happens, we return true. So basically, we're going through each letter. Oh, and we want to make it down case. Oh, lower case all letters in JavaScript string to lowercase, yeah. Then letter, uh, let's just put like dot two lowercase. And then index of dot to lower case. And then let's console log this, the mutation. And so now we are getting false. So, uh, but this one, hey, okay, this is right because hey has a Y in it and there's no uh, H in there. What happens if we search it out for hello and hello? This should return true, but that's not working. Okay, so let's console dot log the letter. Second element dot length eyes. Okay, so letter is equal to H. And what if we go array at position zero dot two lower case? Oh, and we want to console dot log that. Hello. Okay, so then what if we were to say uh, letter that index of array position zero to lowercase. But that doesn't make any sense, right? Because console.log, if we were to console.log the array at position zero to lowercase, hello. The letter is H. Oh, maybe we need to switch it around. So make this letter. And this guy that. To lowercase dot index of. So let's say um, second element, and then let's make this guy first element. And then you know what we could do is instead of doing it like that, we can just make both of these dot two lowercase.
So then immediately we're just dealing with all lowercase letters. If we were to console.log the letter, we're going through each letter. And then if we were to go second element, we're going to get hello, 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 true. OK, cool. And now because this never turns out to be true, we've gone through each letter in here, the lowercase h, is it in here? Yes. OK, so we skip this. Uh, lowercase e, is it in here? Yes. So we skip this. The lowercase l, is it? Yes, we skip, 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 skip. And so therefore, at the end of it, we um, know that all of the elements in this are in here somewhere. So if we run the tests, I think it passes. Cool. It didn't work all the way. Mary and army should return true. Let's uh, console.log the first element. And let's console.log the second element. And let's go... Um, Mary and Army. Mary, Army, false. This should return true, but it's returning false. That's weird. Well, let's console.log the letter when we're getting it wrong. M. Well, here we should do second element instead of that. So we're not, there we go. That was what it was. Okay, so what was happening was I was using the array at position zero, which is pulling in the original Mary. But what I need to do is use the second element, which um, it, it lowercases all of the letters because in second element, I've set the position to lowercase. And uh, so therefore we're managing uh, the case more efficiently. So let's get rid of all these console logs. And so we're returning true for when it's Marion Army. And that's what we want. So if we run the test, it'll pass. Oh, well, we didn't get them all. Voodoo should return false. If the second element, if the index of letter. Let's uh, console.log the letter. Um, and we need to use the proper one. Let's use this voodoo and no. This should return false, but it seems to be returning true for some reason. True. Okay, cool. So now instead of console logging the letter here, let's um, console.log the letter here. And O. Oh, so now why would letter, and then what about um, second element? Oh, okay, so I've got second element here. This needs to be first element. There we go. So what, what I was doing was just comparing it to itself, and I was probably just getting true all the time. So let's run the test and see if they pass. Okay, so once again, what, I'm, what are we doing? How, how does this work? First off, we're, cat case only matters um, in so much that it, it, we want to make it so it doesn't matter. So we could make both of the elements, both this one and this one, uh, all lowercase letters. And therefore, we're not dealing with case anymore. So then we, once we do the first element and the second element, what we have to do is we're going to go through each, element, each letter in the second element and test to see if it's included in this one. So we create a loop where we go through. And then our first letter is set to N. So oh, we can actually get rid of this lowercase here. So our second element at I is equal to N. If uh, the letter of N has an index of negative 1 on the first element, meaning there is no N in here, then we return false. That means we couldn't find the n in here, and therefore we return false. And then if we go through each element of the second element, and we don't find anything, and we never return false, then we just return true. And we took out that uh, extra bit of code there, just to refactor. If I run the test, it still passes. Uh, let's go through it, perhaps with this one. Um, floor and four. This one should return true. Uh, okay, so this one returns true, right? It goes, first off, it checks F. F is there, so we don't return false. O, O is there, so we don't return false. And then R, 
R is there, so we don't return false. And then once the loop is completed, we know all the letters are within here, we return true. Okay, cool. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this one, and we'll see you in the next lesson.